Hi guys, my name is Kenna Jenskill and welcome to episode 18 of episode Mean Girls Senior Year. So for episode 18 is Redemption in the Cards. Gretchen Weiner's prom after party is your only shot. So we are heading over to Gretchen's party to see if we can make amends with all our friends and with me, I forgot his name then, and with Mika. Let's go and see what happens. So here we go. I had just broken the news to my mum. I wasn't going to Yale. I'd already given up my spot. I forgot about that bit. You did what? If I went to Yale, I would hate myself every second I was there. But University of Evanston, you already dropped it. You didn't think any of this through? I'll figure it out. You'll figure it out? That's the scariest thing a mum could hear. Greeno, this could derail your entire future. College, career, and everything after. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this is what I have to do. I'm not disappointed. I'm, I'm really concerned. And I'm upset you didn't even run this by me. Mum, I have to make things right. I'm afraid you're doing the exact opposite. I don't know what happened to you this year. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect her to be excited about my decision, but I definitely didn't expect her to be so hurt. Everyone's so sad, it's all going wrong. I had to fix what I'd broken and turning down Yale was just the beginning. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Katie, I only answered to make sure you're okay. Uh, I'm fine, not okay, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I should have clarified, are you alive and in good health and not in immediate danger? Yes, but I know this sucks, but you really, you did a really sucky thing. You're right, I did, and now, look, I screwed up pretty bad last year. Wait, is it true you pushed Regina in front of a bus? That was a rumour, but I came back from it. You just have to be honest, starting with yourself. Goodbye, Greenoid. Katie, wait! What? I gave up my spot at Yale. Wow. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. Can I come in? Of course. I think Katie looks really nice in that dress. I honestly can't believe you did that after everything you went through to get in. When you do something at all costs, you end up broke. I hurt Mika, I hurt my mum, I hurt you too. You've been the most amazing friend to me and I kicked you whilst you were down. I feel awful. It's okay, you were suddenly enemy number one. Again, I've been there. And again, I'm not particularly proud of how I reacted either. The whole school hates me. Any ideas? Well, I did bring something. Last year, Regina made a certain look really popular. You could give it a shot. I hung it on your door. Thanks, you're the best. I'll try it on. <laughs> what is this? This? <laughs> ha, looks great. Janice and Damien and I tried to prank Regina with that look and it kind of caught on. <laughs> Let's do it. I think I'll... Oh no! Want to wear it tonight to show North Shore you're one of us. We can't do it. We've got no gems. I think I'll pass. I'm not feeling it tonight. No worries. Get your prom outfit back on and we'll find everyone. Any news from Aaron? He keeps calling but I have zero interest in speaking to him right now. Did he leave a message? Like 20. <laughs> Yikes. You know, back when he and I talked about prom, I kind of played it off like it wasn't a big deal to me. But honestly, it was. It's not always easy, but that whole honesty thing saves you a lot of trouble in the long run, as I've just learned a hard way. So where are we going anyway? I, I need to find Regina. Well, let's see. Prom plus social superiority, carry the ego and add a house full of free booze. I'd say she's at Gretchen's house. Spoken like a true mathlete. Janice was heading there to talk to Damien. You want a call to make sure? Neither of them will talk to me. So dial from my phone and put it on speaker. I'll ask. Alright, you are now calling... Ooh, who should we call? Let's call Damien. Damien? Honey, I heard about Aaron. You say the word and I will call him out on Karen's channel. The whole world will know he's a flaky idiot. Also, hello. <laughs> Hi, thank you for the generous offer, but let's not do that. What are you up to? Oh, Gretchen's. 
avoiding Janice and going through Mrs. Weiner's cosmetics case. She buys $80 lip gloss, which according to my mouth is so worth it. Why don't you get over here? Is Regina there? Hmm, 1am on prom night. I bet she's at church. At church? She's here, obviously. It's like, is life hard when you're that gullible? Sometimes, on my way over, see you in a sec. Target acquired. Okay. Yo, everybody, Gretchen's dad is home. Oh no, it's her. Evacuate, evacuate. Oh dear, no, it's her boyfriend. No, you guys, this isn't my dad. My parents are in Aruba. Phil, what are you doing? He's being a first class creep, as usual. Aw. No, he's not. Where's everyone going? Where, where's everybody going? <laughs> they got spooked by Gretchen's man friend. I cannot believe you brought her here, Katie. It stopped her on her grand tour of repentance. If the dragons tear her apart, you're the one who led her to the dungeon. Huh, I really must be spending a lot of time with Kevin. By the way, Aaron's here, looking for you. He's here? Shoot, I don't know whether to hide or try to find him. Hey, I'm sorry for making you feel deceived. Really. And I'm beyond sorry for what I said earlier. I will cautiously accept your apology because I'm curious how the rest will play out. Ask where Kevin is. Ask where Regina is. Let's ask where Kevin is. Did Kevin come? He had to pee, but he's wearing a suit of armour so he could pee a while. What's the damage with Mika? Permanent, I imagine. Damien? Who knows, and who cares? He's probably off with his new BFF, Karen. It's like he's rubbing their little friend relationship in my face to make me jealous. There's a big void in his life without you. Can you blame him for trying to fill it? With Karen Smith? Yeah, I can blame him. <laughs> you can't fill a Janice-shaped hole, hole with a Karen-shaped plug. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> exactly, he needs you right now. What do you mean? He's been trying to come out to his parents. He needs his best friend there to support him. He said that? In so many words and hand gestures. I thought he was just being extra dramatic. I feel awful. Don't feel awful, just know that he needs you. I have to find him. I have to find him. <laughs> Off she goes. And I have to find Regina. No, please stay. It's parent free, I swear. Oh, is everybody leaving? Gretchen, have you seen Regina? Yes. Wait, come back. Oh, she wasn't much help, was she? That was helpful. I think I saw her go upstairs. What? Regina, she went upstairs. Aren't you Katie's boyfriend? Yeah, I'm Aaron, and this is my roommate, Bri, Bri, Bri. Bye. He gave me a lift. Two parties in one semester. I am killing it. I'm sorry, have we met? Uh, no, sorta. Uh, sorta? I don't remember meeting him, but I say sorta. Sorta? Uh, over the phone, earlier. Oh, you're the one who hung up on me. Greenoid, nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you know where Katie is? She's here somewhere. You really hurt her, you know that? Yeah, she made it seem like prom was just whatever to her, but I know I should have known better. I know you mean a lot to her, so good luck. Alone again. <laughs> oh, poor boy. Regina? What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? I was looking for you. Uh, let's say, what are you doing in here? I swear to God, if you repeat this sentence, I will pull out your hair. I didn't mean to do that. You just look so contemplative. Of course I'm contemplative. High school is ending and you completely steamrolled my future. I wanted to tell you, I gave up my spot at Yale. Yeah, right. No, really, I did. I emailed Yale to say I wasn't going. Why? I realized it's not what I really want. Plus, I don't deserve it and you do. To be blunt, you're freaking me out right now. <laughs> Ding! Ooh, what's this? Oh my god. What? Shut up. Are you talking to him? Shut up! 
email just email email Yale just emailed me the spot is mine told you that's three million dollars beauch get over here Regina everyone's leaving I don't know what to do Gretchen can't you see we're having a moment I'm sorry but people keep saying Phil is my dad although he's some creepy old guy who's obsessed with their paws maybe because he is I thought everyone would like him who cares what everyone thinks, Gretchen? Why do you need people's approval all the time? Huh, I guess that's true. That's so true. Now hug me. So scared. <gasps> Katie? I got here as fast as I could. Really? A couple of hours? Hours is as fast as you could? My mum's borrowing my car right now, so Brian had to give me a ride. He takes speed limits very seriously. <laughs> Katie, I'm so sorry and so stupid. Ah, you're not. I'm the one who told you prom didn't matter. But I know you, so I knew better. I didn't want you to feel like I was making you do some lame high school thing. Katie, I never felt feel that way. Sorry if I ruined your night. Hardly. I had some lame college thing, orientation for study abroad. If I didn't go, I'd get assigned a roommate. And I already learnt my lesson there. <laughs> This bright guy is weird, isn't he? So I convinced myself that you really didn't care about prom. I hope you can forgive me. Aaron, I... Where is she? Is he? Eczema? No, to me, it looks like... Philip, I thought we were building a relationship, but you're only using me to build your business. 20% off consultations when you bring your ticket stub from prom. I'm sorry, what was that, sweetie? This whole time you've been recruiting my friends like some kind of dermat dermatological cult. <laughs> I don't need that and I don't need you. I'm my own woman, Dr. Broadbone. It's over. Now if you'd kindly exit my residence. I'll have to charge your father for those copays. Get out. <gasps> so does that mean you're down to hook up again? <laughs> Dane, I wouldn't touch you if you're wearing a hazmat suit. Real men respect women, and you fall so short there and elsewhere. Whatever, that scar on your chin ruined your face. <laughs> well, luckily, I am more than how I look. But if you would like a taste of how it feels to be body shamed, like you do to all the girls all day long, then please enjoy. You have floppy triceps and weird puffy nipples, Dane, and you don't deserve to wear tank tops. Oh, and this is my house where you are no longer welcome. <laughs> The exit's that way. You tell him. Bahai. <laughs> he just walks out. I wanted to tell you, that was very admirable. My name is Bri. I am 19 years old, I am male, and I would like to get to know you. Okay, but just so you know, if this goes anywhere, I won't take a back seat in a relationship. I'm a feminist. <laughs> Me too. I'm a woman's studies major. <laughs> Would you like to go somewhere private and have deep, meaningful conversation about wage equality? I would. Okay. Off they go. What are these three doing? I didn't know and I feel awful. I feel awful. I love you so much. I love you so much. Oh, poop. I forgot to press record. Can you guys do that again? Karen, I... You know what? I'm going to withhold my opinion. Look at you and all this personal growth of yours. Kevin might not be such a bad influence after all. Damn straight. Give me just a moment. Karen, you and I, we're like binary stars. It's almost too much charisma for one screen to contain. So it's with a heavy heart that I thank you for this incredible opportunity. But it's time for me to move on. <laughs> okay? Okay, that's it. I'm just, what, replaceable? No, but I did promise Bernice that she could be in an episode if you ever quit. Oh my god, you were serious? Hmm, she probably does make more sense as your makeup model. Oh, and I still need to return your eyelash curler. Eyelash curler? I thought that thing was for tongue exercises. Oh my goodness. <laughs> to teach her, uh, to each her own. Godspeed, Karen Smith. Godspeed. I really missed you. Aw, they made up. I guess that worked itself out. 
everyone's kind of back together and happy again. We haven't seen Miko all episode though. And that too, yikes. That's a lot of tongue for a mathlete. <laughs> Not really. I'm freaking starving. You two, you two wanna go for food? Yes, I could seriously destroy some chicken fried chicken. That's my favorite, mostly because you can taste the irony. Hands off my boyfriend, boyfriend. <laughs> Thanks for doing what you did. Yeah. Even after I told Mika. Yeah, that wasn't cool. But it would have happened sooner or later. So what are you going to do now instead of Yale? Ooh, join a hippie commune, commune take up the oboe, get a boyfriend. Um, join a hippie commune. <laughs> I've always had a thing for hemp jewellery and I'd like to learn to make llama cheese. Okay, a bit of an about face, but do your thing. I'm kidding, I have no idea. Hmm, maybe try for spring admission. I was actually hoping, ding. <gasps> nice, this smoking hot guy who was a senior when we were sophomores wants to meet up. So I have to ditch without Gretchen seeing. Good luck with everything. My goodness, Regina's being nice. Crazy. Hey Regina. Oh, there you are. Damn it, Karen. Doing the right thing was a massive weight off my conscience, but I couldn't quite save at the moment. Regina was set, but now... Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm going to do. She's in limbo. There we go, that's the end of the episode. We have got two more episodes left, episode 19 and... I think actually, yeah, episode 19 and episode 20. So for episode 19 it says, As Gretchen's party rages on, help comes from an unlikely source, Regina. Mm, sounds interesting. Make sure you join in. Make sure you tune in for that episode coming soon. But thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here and I will see you guys soon. Bye.